Hello my YouTube friends. I don't think a lot of people know how truly powerful the OBS text tools can be. So today I want to explore the OBS text tool and show you how many amazing things you can do to spice up your live stream with just simple text. Let's get to it. My analytics say that 80% of the folks that watch my videos are not subscribed. Am I doing something wrong? Let me know in the comments. But if you are looking for tools, tips, and tricks that help make you a better YouTuber or a live streamer, then why not subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. Now what I'm going to show you today is just the tip of the iceberg on the text tools. With some creativity and filters, you can go a lot further. My goal is to give you just a little taste. Here we are in OBS and I just have a couple of media files in here. So I'm going to click the plus under sources and I'm going to select the text GDI and I'm just going to click OK. And the first thing you're going to see is over here on the right, we can select our fonts. Now all of the fonts you can select have different sizes from huge to small. And then you've got your font style right next to that, bold and all kinds of ones. And this depends on the font that you choose. So some fonts are gonna have more, others are gonna have less. And you can scroll through here and see there are just a massive number of fonts that are loaded into OBS. And this also includes some fonts that I loaded in. So if you load a font onto your computer, it's going to show up here. In this case, the gold bold font, that's the one I'm gonna use and I'm gonna select 48 and I'm going to go with regular and now we have some effects you can use the strikeout effect which puts a line through it or an underline effect which will underline your font you can also choose a writing system that's in a different language if you like we're just going to click OK we have our font we're going to use this one and under the text this is where you put in the text that you want to appear on the screen in this case I'm just going to write my name and let's make it a little bigger there we go we'll move this box over here and we'll move it down so it's easier to see. And then below that, you have a little checkbox that says anti-aliasing. Now, anti-aliasing is basically something that's going to try to smooth the edges of your text. So if I uncheck it, you see the edges get jagged. You probably want to leave this on. Now under text transform, we can change the way our text looks. We can make it all uppercase, all lowercase, or it'll put a capital letter at the start, or we can leave none. So it just goes the way we printed it. And you can also select vertical. So it'll change the alignment of your text from horizontal to vertical. And then you can go in here and change the color of your text. And I just hit the color box and I can drag this around to whatever color I want and click OK. And now you can see the color of our text is changed. We can also change the opacity of our text so we can make it almost see-through or completely 100% visible. I'm going to go back in here and change the color to white. And that's because I want a gradient. So I'm going to select this gradient little button here and I'm going to select the gradient color that I want and that's going to be the blue color. Yeah, something like that looks pretty good. And I'm going to click OK. And now you can see the top of my text is white and the bottom is blue. And I can adjust the gradient opacity right here so I can actually change how see-through the gradient is. I can also adjust the gradient directions. If I want it to go from left to right, I can adjust it that way, top to bottom, right to left. No matter how I want my gradient, I have the ability to set it up just the way I want it. That's really awesome. Now I can also set up a background color right here and I can just select this. And if I go over here and select a color, you can see it doesn't change the HTML, which is kind of annoying. So you got to go here and pick a color and then you can move it around and you'll see it changes the HTML, which is good. That's what we want and click OK. And there we go. Where is it? Well, we have to adjust the background opacity up a little bit and there we go. Now we can see our orange background really looks pretty nice. Now the alignment and uh, stuff I don't usually mess with because I don't like to change the size of the box, but you can use this if you want. I can also put an outline if I check this box and you can see if I go in and change the color and click OK, now we have a black outline. I can adjust that outline size just by clicking on the up or down arrows, or I can put in an arbitrary number. I can also change that outline's opacity so it can look more like a drop shadow if I want it to. Really, really awesome stuff. And once I'm done, I can click OK. I can drag this 
text around anywhere on my screen and I can resize it by dragging the edges. And there we go, I can move it anywhere I want. And so that's the basics of the text tool, but you can do so much more with this thing. If I right click on it and go to properties, then I can select this read from file. And that means it'll take text right from a file. I've already created a file, so I'm just gonna scroll down here and select that file and I can click open. And now you can see my text file just says this is from a text file. It automatically changes and let's just resize this text so we get it here in the box and we'll move it down to the bottom here and that looks pretty good I'm gonna click OK and now I want to show you how fast this text will update so I'm gonna open up the text file I'm just gonna drag this over to the side of the screen here and put OBS in the other side of the screen and there we go so now we can see our stuff and what I want to do is just adjust the text in the file here and I'll just type another text. It helps if I spell it right. And then all I have to do is click File and Save. And you can see in just moments, it's instantly updated down here in OBS. Now the only thing that stinks is it kind of changed the size of our box. So now I have to drag it out again. But what if I wanted to standardize the size of the box? Well, I can right click on the text and go to Transform. And then I can go to Edit Transform. And then I can go and select this bounding box type. And I'm going to select scale to inner bounds. And then I'm going to adjust the size of the text to the exact size that I want. Now keep in mind that this just sets the box size for the text. And you'll see what I mean by that in a minute. I'll just adjust this down and we'll move it in there. That's where we want it. So now I can click close and that's the box size for our text. It will always be within that box no matter how long or short it is. So let's put more text in here and I'll show you what I mean. If I go ahead and save this out and click over, there we go. So you can see that the text is still in that exact box, but this doesn't really show a very good example. And of course it looks weird because we have that background on there. So let's type a longer text in and now you'll see exactly what I mean. No matter how long the text is, it's always gonna stay within that box. And there we go. So I can type it as long as I want and it will always conform to the edges of the box that I've created. I'll show you here, I'm gonna type in even longer text. So this is important if you are going to use this to read from a text file that might be like subscribers or something like that. Your subscriber names are never gonna be the same length. They're always gonna be different. Using this method, it will always conform to the space that you have set aside for that particular text. So when I click save, you can see it does shrink the text, but it always stays within that space, that area that you have set. Now let me show you one of the cool filters you can use. So if I right click on the text and I go to filters, I'm gonna click the plus here. And I'm gonna go to the scroll filter and click okay. Now you can see there's two different things here. I can set the horizontal speed. And if I move that up, you can see our text scrolls. And that's pretty cool. And if I uncheck read from file, you can see it brings my name up. And what I wanna show you is that if you put spaces at the end of scrolling text, you can add that space in. And this will work obviously for text files too. It's just easier to show you from there. So now I can add in the spaces on the end of the text, which is really, really cool. I'm gonna set this to zero and we'll show you the vertical text. And I can just adjust the speed on that. And you can see that the text will scroll from the bottom to the top. And especially when you use the gradient, this looks really neat because it adds kind of another level of animation to the scrolling text. I really like how that works. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna right click and go to properties for our text again, and I'm gonna have it read from that file. And you can see that it's obviously scrolling the text that we put in there last. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna edit this text and show you some different things that you can do here. The text in these boxes is always going to be in the same format that you use. So I can add another line here to our scrolling text. And when I save it, there we go. Now we've got another line on our scrolling text and we can add even yet another line to our scrolling text. And then when we save this text file out, you can see now we've got three lines scrolling up the screen. And I'm gonna just go ahead and set our scroll back to zero and we can adjust our horizontal speed and you can see it'll scroll all three of those lines in horizontal as well. Now what I wanna do is what happens if we don't want this on multiple lines? Well, you just go ahead and track back and then just add it on the same line. And then when I save this out, 
you can see our scrolling text shows up on the exact same line. And of course, it's still within the constraints of that box that we set. So you might wanna have scrolling members of your membership team or anyone who newly subscribed can show up in the scrolls like this. It's a great way to make your live streams a little more interactive. So let's remove that scroll and we're gonna right click and go into properties for our text file. And we're gonna just use the text that's right here because I wanna show you that you can do the exact same thing. I can add spaces in the text right here by just typing text on the same line and there you go, you see all the text on the same line. Or if I go in here and go all the way back here and then I can just hit return to put this text on a completely different line. And there we go. Now our text is on a completely different line and you can see that it's still conforming to the size of the box that we set when we transformed the box. And these are just a few of the amazing ways that you can use text in your live stream. Now I use the text tools along with other tools to add custom text from files to update my alerts and even put comments from the chat on my screen. The limit is only your imagination. How are you gonna use the OBS text tools? Let me know in the comments. And if you wanna see how to create a custom alert animation for your live stream totally free, you should check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.